This is triangle PQR with the coordinates 2 comma 7, negative 1 comma 1 and pi comma 1. We want to prove that this triangle PQR is an isosceles triangle. Now, what is an isosceles triangle? Okay, so an isosceles triangle, isosceles triangle, okay, which implies two sides are equal. Any two sides, if they are equal, we can say it's an isosceles triangle. Two sides are equal. So let's find uh, side PQ. What's the length of PQ? So uh, to find the length of PQ, let's draw a right angle triangle. So let's uh, join P and Q by a right angle triangle like this. Okay, so this is a right angle. Okay, so what's this distance? So here you're at 1 and you're going up to 7. So this distance is 6. And what's this distance? You're at negative 1, you're going at 2. Even you can count the squares, 1, 2, 3. So using Pythagoras, uh, PQ is square root of 6 squared plus 3 squared. Square root of 6 squared plus 3 squared, which is square root of which is square root of 36 plus 9, which is square root of 45. To be exact, square root of 45, if, if you want to write in a third form, square root of 45 is same as writing square root of 9 times square root of 5. So to write in the third form, PQ is 3 root 5 units. So what is, what is PR? So again, let's draw, uh, let's again draw a right angle triangle joining these two points. Okay, so same, what can we do here? The same principle here or same kind of idea. So this distance from this point to this point is 3 and this distance is 6. So this would also be, this is two uh, triangles, the same hypotenuse. So directly you can see even without working, this is square. This is going to be square root of 45. So this is also square root of 45. So you can say, well, PQ is equal to is equal to PR. Okay, so this tells me this is an equal uh, isosceles triangle. But now, now, what's the length of this? This is very easy. The distance from Q to R is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this, these two sides are PQ is equal to PR, so it's an isosceles triangle.